What if India could build cities from the ground up, designed for the future? That's the idea behind Smart City Revolution, and India is pouring billions into making it happen. But why? The Smart City mission launched in 2015 aims to create cities with better infrastructure, quality of life, sustainability, and smart solutions. But first, let's take a quick quiz. How many smart cities are being worked on in India? The options are A. 25 B. 100 C. 50 or D. 5 The answer is a mind-boggling 100. If you guessed it right, let me know in the comments. And if you learned something new, show some love. Now, in the previous video, I talked about the challenges faced by existing cities like Delhi, Mumbai and Varanasi. In short, these cities are too old and culturally significant to be completely redeveloped. This makes the need to develop new and modernized cities extremely urgent. But then, the question is, what is really driving this push? India's rapid economic growth is fueling a massive migration from rural areas to the cities. Historical factors have also played a role. Over centuries, invasions and colonization by the Mughals and the British led to neglect and depreciation of many existing urban centers. After India's independence, cities continued to grow rapidly, but often without proper planning or regulations. This lack of oversight created a nightmare for civic bodies trying to manage basic services. Compounding these issues were challenges in enforcing public order and cleanliness and insufficient community engagement in maintaining public spaces. In 2018, an article by Invest India sounded the alarm reporting that 25 to 30 people were migrating to Indian cities every minute. This number has only gone up since then. By 2030, urban areas in India are projected to house a staggering 600 million people, up from approximately 522 million today. This influx is putting immense strain on already struggling urban infrastructure. The need for this kind of urban planning was already clear a decade ago. Now do you see the urgency? This is why the development of smart cities is not just a good idea, it's a necessity for India's future. However, this isn't happening without challenges. Building new cities isn't easy. There are many obstacles to overcome. Let's see if you can identify one of the biggest hurdles. Which of these is the biggest hurdle when building new cities in developing countries like India? A. Sustainable policies B. Environmental concerns C. Funding or D. Land acquisition The answer is often C. Funding Securing the necessary financial resources for large-scale urban development is a major challenge. But even with funding secured, there are still significant hurdles to overcome in the planning and implementation of new cities. One crucial challenge is creating sustainable policies. It makes no sense to build an entire ghost city and wait for people to move in. But it also doesn't make sense to ask people to invest in a city that doesn't yet exist. The ideal scenario is to have policies in place that encourage people to move in during the city's development. This, however, presents its own unique challenges. And feel free to comment if you'd like me to make a video explaining the complexities of sustainable policies for new infrastructure. Another major hurdle is land acquisition. In democracies, by law, land cannot be taken without fair compensation and due process which can be lengthy and complex. The most interesting question that now arises is, how is India building 100 smart cities with these hurdles? So how is India tackling these monumental challenges and building 100 smart cities? They're employing a multi-pronged approach, including developing satellite towns and suburban areas around existing cities. 
This involves creating new urban centers near established cities, often with the aim of minimizing environmental impact and providing more affordable housing options. For example, areas around major metropolitan areas like Delhi and Mumbai are being developed as satellite towns. Thane near Mumbai and Noida near Delhi are some examples. Investing in the development of Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities This strategy focuses on strengthening smaller cities that have the potential for significant growth. By improving infrastructure, amenities and other economic opportunities in these cities, the government aims to distribute urban growth more evenly across the country. Cities like Indore and Coimbatore are examples of Tier 2 cities that are experiencing rapid development. Building Entirely New Planned Cities This involves creating new urban centers from scratch in areas that are less environmentally sensitive. These planned cities are designed with modern infrastructure and sustainable principles in mind. Examples include Gift City in Gujarat and Navi Mumbai near Mumbai. It's important to note that urban development is a complex and multifaceted process. And these are just some of the key strategies being pursued in India. India's journey of development is an ongoing process, with new challenges and opportunities constantly emerging. Yes, India faces significant urban challenges including pollution, strain on resources and the sheer scale of its population. However, these challenges can be overcome. The development of smart cities represents a crucial step in addressing these issues and creating a more sustainable and livable future for India's growing urban population. By embracing innovative technologies and sustainable planning, India is working towards a future where its cities are not only modern and efficient, but also environmentally responsible and inclusive. If you found this video informative and want to learn more about solutions being explored, please like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.